Meet Mr. Clark. Clark is an expert trainer in English communication. Clark has created his online English Communication Academy, Clark Communication Classes, on WizIQ. Now, he wants to create his first paid, self-paced online course on the topic, Public Speaking Do's and Don'ts. Clark has several course-related documents, presentations, and recorded videos on WizIQ Virtual Classroom ready to use for his course. He also plans to include a multiple-choice assessment at the end of the course. To do so, Clark logs in and lands on the home page of his academy. Once here, Clark clicks on the Create New Course button at the bottom right and further clicks on Create a Self-Paced Course. Self-Paced courses are not time-bound. Therefore, the course will be open to learners indefinitely. The New Course Creation window pops up. The course creation process is divided into three sections. 1. Course Settings 2. Course Schedule 3. Course Profile In the first section, Clark selects the Paid Course option and enters a fee of $10 per enrollment. A paid course is visible to everyone. This course will have multiple activities. Clark doesn't want his learners to move to new activities within the course without completing the previous ones. Therefore, he clicks the Enforce Sequencing option. Clark wants his learners to be able to share their views and questions in discussion forums, so he clicks the Enable Discussions field. Clark clicks Next to move to the second window, Course Schedule. Once here, Clark enters the course title, Public Speaking Do's and Don'ts. The title gives a brief and meaningful introduction to the course. It is displayed alongside the course image in the list of courses. Clark wants to create this course in two sections. In Section 1, he plans to cover the introductory content. In Section 2, he will include content on real-life examples, his recorded live class lecture, and assessments in the end. He clicks on Section 1 and names it Introduction to Public Speaking. Then, he clicks on Add Activity to add the first activity of the course. Clark clicks on Files to add his course content. There are several types of file storages supported by WizIQ, from which Clark can fetch his content. His course content is stored in his laptop. Therefore, he picks and uploads the introductory presentation from his desktop. Then, he clicks on Activity 2 and adds another PDF document on verbal and nonverbal communication in public speaking. After completing Section 1, Clark moves to Section 2. He changes the name of the section to Public Speaking, Learning from Experts, and moves on to add the course content. Here, he adds two more presentations, one on the real-life examples of popular public speakers and a second on the benefits of warming up the audience before the session as Activity 1 and Activity 2, respectively. As the third activity, he adds the recording of his live class on the same subject. In the final activity, he adds an assessment with multiple choice questions to test his learner's performance. After completing the course schedule section, Clark clicks the Next button. He's now at the third and last stage of his course creation process, Course Profile. In the Course Profile section, he enters the subtitle of the course. Next, Clark adds three highlights which explain the USPs and the key benefits of this course. Once done, he enters a detailed description of the course in the About the Course section to let the potential course subscribers get a glimpse of the course objectives and schedule. In the Course Logo slash Pick option, Clark uploads a banner of his course from his PC. He sets the language of instruction as English. Clark hits the Publish button to make the course live. Then, he exits the window and clicks Refresh. There, he sees his course on the course list page of his academy. He clicks the View Course button to verify whether everything is set up perfectly. On this page, he reviews the title, subtitle and the description of the course, instructor's details, course type, etc. He clicks on the Schedule tab at the top to quickly scan the sequence of the activities. Clark's new online course is now ready to be purchased.